Hey guys. Okay, so this video is going to be for any of you DFS players out there who play uh, basketball and you're looking for an automated solution to pull in player data every day, then you know, you'll really enjoy this video because I think it'd be really helpful. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is just open up a workbook here and I'm just going to walk you through uh, the steps and how to set up an automated and dynamic feed directly to basketball reference website. Okay, cool. So first things first, in Excel Power Query, uh, which is the application I'll be using today, uh, there's a way to connect straight through to the website, pull in player data using what's called like a dynamic table. Okay, so I am going to walk you through first how to make the connection to basketball reference. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab this URL and I'm going to come back over to sheet one, go to data, to from web, and this is the URL for basketball reference. Okay, so we'll leave it at basic uh, daily leader. So I click OK. Now by default what this is going to do is it's going to pick the most recent uh, set of player data available which as of this date I am recording this on February 19th so more than likely what this data is data that's available as of the 18th so I'm gonna click load uh, hit this little drop down say load to and select existing worksheet so click OK and then bam, there's your data. What you'll need to do is create another sheet, call it setup. And then what you wanna do is you wanna set up this worksheet to have a single cell that represents the day of player data you're looking for. So by default here, I just left mine at uh, February 15th, but we can actually, we can maybe even make this 17th. Okay, so the reason why you have to do this is because if you look here in this cell, in order to make this dynamic, you you can't you know post or you can't just pull data from a single day because you would have to change the URL link every time. So we don't want to do that. We want to make it dynamic. So by setting up your date field here in this cell, I'm using a function called year. It returns the year. In this cell, I return the month, but I have to return it as text because that's kind of how the URL recognizes the, the month. Day is fine the way that it is. I could just use the day function. So then over here, this URL, uh, in this link here, I'm concatenating the values that are found here. So you can see E2. E2 represents the month. Day represents the value here and then year represents the value here. So it's gonna return uh, player stats from February 17th. So just to check that out, we can just click on this real quick and I'll show you exactly how it works. Bam, February 17th. And let's get jiggy with it here. I'm gonna close out of this. I'm gonna change this to the 15th. Click on it again. Bam. See? See how that works. So you just have to keep in mind, though, that if there are games that are not played on a, on a day that you're choosing and you try to put in a value for a game date that doesn't really exist, you're going to get an error. Okay. So what we need to do here is we want to create a named field. I want to also give this a name as well. And this will make sense why I'm, why I'm defining these named fields like this. But for this one, let's call it um, B ball uh, ref URL. All right. So I'm going to name this sheet here new data. And over here in AB, I'm going to call this game. Date and 
highlight this just so I know that this is not part of the original data set that comes in and then I want to refer back to data here so what I'm going to do is every time that I refresh the data and point to a new date I want the corresponding game date to be a populated field in that table set because what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another sheet that's going to have all the historical data. So we, the way it'll work is that every time you run the refresh and your data refreshes, you can just take all the player information along with the game date, paste it into your table so that you have all of the um, historical data that you need. I'm going to create a copy of this sheet. And then I'm going to list this thing as uh, all data. Okay, so what, what I need to do here though is uh, since I want this to just reflect values and not any formulas, I'm going to copy and then paste as special values. So I don't want any formulas to show up in here. Now, where it says queries and connections, oh, there it is right here. So I want to change the name of these queries to reflect the sheet name so uh, this one is uh, all data so I'm going to rename it all data and then this one is going to be new data okay and so now to wrap this up we're going to go to the new data query I'm going to right click on it go to edit And then up here over on the left where it says advanced editor, I'm going to need to post this code here. Change this to this. And what I'm doing here is I'm entering in query parameter values to this new data, which is going to have all those individual pieces of that date that we put into the setup sheet. Okay, so I'm going to click Done. Now you'll get this uh, error message here. It says information is required about data privacy. You click Continue. But this is just a Microsoft um, kind of like safety precaution. I'm just going to say Ignore Privacy Levels. Uh, checks for this file. I'm going to click Save. I now have this parameter set up so now I can exit out of here and then say keep okay so right now let's make sure that we have this thing rocking and rolling so if I've done this correctly I want to change this to 17 and just out of curiosity let me open this so I could see that there are 98 players that played on the 17th so I'm going to come back here and let's see if that's what we get when we refresh this so let's go back to new data and then here I'm going to right click on here and then hit refresh. So I should have 98 players if I did that right. And that looks good. So um, on the, let's see. Yeah, so I'm actually going to delete this for a second to make sure that uh, I didn't do this th the wrong way. So here's, here's how this is going to work, right? So let me select all the data from the 17th I'm going to copy that paste that in here as values and then let's try another date uh, 2-18 so what do we get for the 18th nothing okay it looks like there were no games on the 18th 
So let's try the 16th. Yeah, it looks like 217 player stats. So let's try that. 216. Go back to new data. Right click. Hit refresh. I should see my 216 players, which I do. Um, but I think if I looked at this the right way, sorry, yeah, 217. So that's perfect. So I copy, come down here to my all data sheet and I go to the very last row copy and paste values see how this is working so now I've got player stats from the 16th and the 17th all you know in one table so then you know I could do whatever I want I can sort this and just keep that as an active record and maybe maybe I'll change the view on here to freeze panes so I can see this running so let's try just one more let's try the 15th and see, did we have any player stats for the 15th? We did, we had 141 players. Cool, go back here, right click, refresh. There's my 141. Copy, paste the values, 15th, just like that. So there you go guys.